Hey everyone, Dave here, the NC Picker, and I'm in the garage today because I got some eBay orders to pull. And as always, this computer is like totally frozen. So last time you saw me, I was upstairs listing plush from that plush mystery box I bought. It didn't go that well. I haven't listed anything beyond what I listed in that one, but overall, I don't think it was a good investment. I don't think I probably should have bought it, but at the same time, I only paid $75. And just the stuff I listed last night was 80. Obviously there's fees, but I'm almost to break even just with what I listed and there's a handful of more items, but they're all gonna be like very small, low priced items. I did sell a bunch of stuff though since then. I have 16 total orders and let's see, are any of them any good? <laughs> I guess they're all good because I'm selling, but I did sell some plush. I sold three plush. I don't think I sold any plush from that mystery box though. Oh, it's kind of cool that these sold. Hey, well, let me pull them and then I'll tell you what's cool. All right, so our first order is in FL22. So yeah, I mean, I feel like I had a million things I wanted to talk to you guys about and now I'm having a brain fart. I guess I can start here. I did do uh, a cooking video. I released a cooking video today or yesterday. What is this? Truffle Skin and Company? What is this? I don't even know what this is. This is uh, Skin and Company Truffle Therapy Lotion. So this is some sort of uh, skin care. I guess, and this sold for $8.99 plus shipping. It's not bad. I had this pink panther out because I was measuring him to try to figure out how big he was. I think he's a bad buy. I thought he might be a good buy, but I think I paid 20 for him. He lives up there now. And I was looking at comps last night with Elijah and it looks like it only sells for like 25, 30 max. All right, so up next is FL88. And yeah, so I mean, basically I did a cooking video of pigs in a blanket. I didn't realize that that's not what everyone calls them, but it's like the little crescent rolls and you put the little hot dog in them, very good. Uh, and it was actually a really good recipe that I liked quite a bit. Is this what's sold? Clinique. I'm so bad at picking makeup. Yeah, Clinique High Lengths Mascara Black sold for $12.99 plus shipping. And I dropped an NC Picker video, Divinity. And I got a lot of feedback about a couple items I missed. And you know, it's good feedback. It's good feedback. Some of it was pretty negative in the way they portrayed the feedback, but overall the feedback was very good and it will help me. Apparently I passed something called a Jadeite cup and saucer, like a set of two of them. And those are apparently pretty valuable. I looked them up. It seems like they sell for like 40 for a cup and saucer, for two, for two cup and saucers. Uh, and then I also missed, what was the other thing called? It was these glass bookends that I guess everyone knows about except for me. What's it called? Glass, I'm gonna start with a B. I'll look, Blinko? Blink, Blinky? Why does this camera keep going down like this? It's like out of balance or something. Divinity Original Sin sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Blinko, B-L-E-N-K-O, glass owl bookends. Never heard of them in my life. I see so much glass in Florida that I'm kind of to the point where I just turn off my brain when I see it, but I really shouldn't because there's good glass and good breakables out there if I'm willing to actually learn the category. So I really should, especially living in Florida, there's so much glass here. Uh, but anyways, needless to say, I miss them and everyone in the comments was kind of fired up. So I sold this uh, Webkin's Plush Black Bet. That's the second one of those I have sold in two weeks. Sold that for $11, so that's a good one to pick up, even without the code, that's a solid webkin. A lot of the comments also, because this was a video where I bought all the Harley t-shirts, and a lot of the comments also were people like, hey, it's nice to see you actually buy something you can sell for decent money instead of plushes. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, listen, I know my weaknesses, and uh, plushes are one of them. It's a sad day, but it is. I am getting excited about the uh, 127 sale. What did I sell? I sold Just Dance, but I think it was number four. Uh, that's coming up pretty soon. I'm excited to learn how to do those properly because last time I went, it was just all a bunch of vendors and I didn't really buy hardly anything. But Kevin's telling me I do it wrong and he said he's gonna show me how to do it right. So it's possible we're gonna find a ton of really awesome items. So we'll see. Uh, okay, so I sold Just Dance 4 for Nintendo Wii. Sold it for $6.99 plus shipping. Oh, okay, and so everyone gave me this feedback as well. I said in the last video, or two videos ago, I was waiting for the other pin to drop, okay? Because I had this... I love finding packages right next to my desk uh, that have labels on it and probably should have already gone out. I think that one, maybe I packed it up yesterday. 
But yeah, because I was waiting for another return because I accidentally swip, swip swap, accidentally missed up, mixed up action figures. I sent the wrong Star Wars action figure to different people. And so I was waiting for the other pin to drop, but everyone told me it is not the pin, it is the shoe. The other shoe to drop. Okay, so I guess they said pins don't drop, but I've dropped pins before, so I don't know. I don't really know, know how like shoe is more applicable. I would love a detailed explanation down below. <laughs> the history of that statement. Okay, Blake Shelton concert DVD. This is funny actually. I remember when this went on clearance at Target and my Target had like hundreds of them and uh, they were really cheap. But anyway, sold it for $6.99. I didn't buy them retail arbitrage. I bought them in a big DVD buy where I should do the math. I need to count how many I got. I think I got like I think I basically paid like 50 cents per DVD, something like that. <laughs> I gotta... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you guys this. So Carrie just sent me this, American Arbitrage. <laughs> hey, he sent that to me privately, so let me show everyone who watches the show. His TV setup he's got going on is two upside down totes and he puts his TV on top. And I messaged him, I said, doesn't your girlfriend refinish furniture as like part of her flipping business? <laughs> like they buy a, like really cheap furniture or get it on the side of the road and then they fix it up and sell it. I was like, just, why don't you just take one of the things you find on the side of the road, put your TV on it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text him back and say, this is going in my video. <laughs> I also found out, and this is really probably more a podcast topic than anything, but I found out Carrie, American Arbitrage, FL80, uh, has a whole entire, what is it called, SoundCloud account, where he's like singing, just singing to the world. It's pretty good, it's pretty good stuff. I wonder if he'll give me permission to use it as my theme song for my channel. Uh, he's actually not a bad singer, but I just have trouble taking him seriously. That's all. So Carrie will be meeting me up at, uh, in Nashville, not Nashville, Crossville. I love this lion plush I got recently. Oh, he's hugging me. Isn't he cool? He's a Commonwealth brand, which I thought was kind of funny, but he has some value, like 20 bucks, something like that. So not bad at all. Let me see if I can find this. Hey, do you remember these? Okay, these are so cool. Remember they're like, they're Happy Meal toys, but they're like a milkshake and then it opens up and it's like a creature. Total nostalgia for me when I found this. I think I got it at a yard sale or an estate sale, I can't remember where I got it. They're not worth much, most McDonald's toys aren't, but these are worth more than most. I think it's worth like five bucks or something. All right, so here's the item that actually sold. This is a transformer, like a Gen 1 transformer. A little tiny one though. I think the bigger ones have more value. I don't really know how to use it, but it is truly vintage, sold it for, and this video should go live, I think, today. So you might be able to see me buy this. Sold it for 15 bucks. Which, if I recall correctly, is less than I spent at the wholesale, maybe? I might have spent, no. At least on that box of toys, I paid less than that. So I'm in the profit officially. Although I've already sold a, a little pin. It was a Book It pin from Pizza Hut for like 10 bucks out of that box, too. So I'm in the profit on it. You know, someone said something in a meeting today that I thought was pretty wise right? So I can't remember what, it, what the topic matter was, but something had gone wrong in the company, my, my day job company. Uh, and we had to like throw away some inventory or uh, sell it at a loss or something like that. I can't remember, but they were like, well, I guess we live and we learn. And then the other person was like, well, I guess that's all life is just a series of us learning new things. I was like, you know, that's kind of true. Eh, I know it's kind of a basic thought, but sometimes you have to hear those things and be like, yeah, that is true. I'm just constantly learning new stuff. You know, teaching Elijah to edit on the computer. I think that's like a cool next stage for him because he told me after, so if you watched, didn't watch the last video, Elijah's making some TikToks for me and I'm paying. He spent a long time. So for me to make a TikTok takes 20 to 30 minutes, worst case, 45 minutes, if it's a really difficult one. Uh, he's been spending about an hour per TikTok. You know, he's just learning to edit, things like that. And he's sitting there, he did two hours to edit these two TikToks. And afterwards he's like, can I do another one? And I'm like, why? He's like, I really like it. It's fun. And that's cool to me, right? Like he's now learned something he enjoys and he's making some money while doing it. I thought that was kind of neat. You know, we always are stuck, at least me, I feel like I've always been stuck in jobs where I don't actually enjoy them. Uh, not the reselling. I like the reselling. I like the cooking. Uh, I like the podcasting. I don't really enjoy my day job. Spreadsheets and forecasting. And it's 
fine. It pays the bills, but it's not something fun. It's not something, it's not even that it's fun. It's not even, it's just not something I enjoy that much personally. So I'm hoping I can guide my son and my daughters into some sort of career path they actually enjoy as opposed to just taking any old job. Anyways, getting motivational again. Here we go. I got these drawer pulls. Hmm. I think I got these at that rummage sale I did with the voiceover. It's really cool little butterfly pulls and it's got the screws with it too. So you put that on your drawer and then you put the screw on the other side. When I tried to comp these out, I found a similar one on like Alibaba.com, like just a Chinese uh, website. And so I don't know if they're officially old anymore. Like now I don't know. They're porcelain. It feels like porcelain with like a glaze on them. Either way, they sold for 20 bucks. I think they're very pretty. And I hope whoever bought them, Noelle, enjoys them. I don't think she's a viewer, but I still hope she enjoys them. All right, up next is in FL57. I would say kind of the worst thing about most modern jobs, and I guess reselling has this too, is there's no real logging off at the end of the night for most jobs. I mean, I'm sure there is some jobs, but all the jobs I've ever had, like you were still on the clock even after you were off the clock. Right, people will message you and ask you to do tasks and say, hey, can you jump on a meeting? And this comes to mind for this reason. I just got a meeting invite from a superior, a very high superior in the company, ask, basically inviting me to a meeting. The meeting is at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And not only is it at 9 p.m. Eastern time, Eastern time, Easter time. <laughs> yeah, that's be fun. <laughs> We're gonna have a meeting at 9 p.m. Easter time. No, it's 9 p.m. Eastern time. Not only that, but it's also during my week of vacation when I'm gonna be out of state. I don't know what my internet will be at that point. And it's definitely a meeting I should attend. And I had to stop and be like, well, how could I attend it? You know, is there any way I could do it? And then I'm like, well, no, Dave, it's your vacation. It's like 8.30 or 9 p.m. at night. You're allowed to say no here. And so I said, no, I messaged him back and I said, no. Ever since that, I have been feeling extreme guilt for saying no to this meeting that's on my vacation at 9 p.m. I've been feeling guilt for saying no. I've been worrying, I've been stressing about it. As I'm recording this, I'm literally stressing about the fact that I said no to this boss of mine. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think that's great. I think that's one of the reasons a lot of us want to work for ourselves eventually, because that's not like really a good quality of life if you're feeling this bad for not attending a meeting during your vac vacation at 9 p.m. Anyways, I sold this car. Is this a Hot Wheel? It's an ERTL Ertl. It's some sort of like festive one. What does it say on it? Chinese dragon car, 1998, sold for $5.40. Oh my, my computer is so loud. It sounds like a jet engine right now. I'm not really sure why it's making so much noise. Anyways, out of FL89, we sold a plush and it is Frankenstein. Frankenstein, uh, I paid 50 cents for him at a sale recently. It's not gone live yet. It'll be live on my uh, NC Picker channel soon and sold him for $6.30. So nothing amazing, but the price was right, so I grabbed him. And then out of FL90, where's FL90 right here? We sold something as well. Oh, you know what? I got this recently. Uh, I did the sale, I think it already went live. It's the one where uh, two people were at the estate sale kind of fussing at each other. And the lady basically, the lady selling at the estate sale goes, so let me, let me say it right. The shopper at the estate sale says, you know, are all the blankets $4? Because she said $4. And the lady running the estate sales was like, she got like angry at her for some reason, like aggressive. She's like, now why would you say that? <laughs> would, it, would you buy a Ferrari and a Honda for the same price? Something like that. And then the buyer was upset. So anyways, that was kind of funny. But the sale before that, I bought this plush. They were a buck a piece, I believe. Eh, I think that's right. I think a, bu a buck a piece for these. Sold this for twelve eighty seven plus shipping. It does play music somehow, yeah. It's got the Rudolph tag still on it, so it's in nice condition. All right, quiet down. Got it. So anyway, sold it for $12.87, and then that same buyer bought something out of FL37. You know, I was thinking the other day, I could totally set up a bunch of cameras in here, like I do on my cooking channel, right? So that's the benefit of the cooking channel, is it's taught me some new things about uh, editing, multicam setups. Oh my gosh, I'm standing on my chair. Eh, risky. What even is this? Oh, it's uh, Dr. Seuss plush. Yeah, so I've learned a lot about how to do that and like get a good audio feed, even though it's multiple cameras and all this stuff. And uh, so I totally could up my game in here, but that would mean edit time would probably go from right now editing a video like this is like 40 minutes, 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the video. And I think it would probably make it a two hour edit. So it's probably not something I can manage right now. Horton Hears a Who, 
elephant. I believe the elephant's name was Horton. Sold that for $5.39. Speaking of selling uh, low value plush, here I go again. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to Disney World in a couple days. I feel like I was talking about something and totally lost that thread. So we're just gonna come back to it next episode, I guess. <laughs> uh, but I was gonna tell you that I'm going to Disney on Friday night. Friday afternoon at night, depends on when I can get out of work. And it'll be there Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And so that should be really fun. I'm excited about it. I think we're gonna do Magic Kingdom. We keep switching which parks we're gonna go to. But now at this point, I think we're gonna do Magic Kingdom, MGM, or Hollywood Studios. What do they call it now? And Epcot. And I sold this little Einstein's Pat the Rocket Ship. This is actually a Disney IP. And I think that's what made me think of it because I saw the Disney sale and I grabbed it. These little Einstein stuff can be good. This sold for $12.59, this plush, plus shipping. All these have been plus shipping. Just, I should mention that. I don't talk about it much, but it's almost always the case when I sell is that it's plus shipping. Uh, but yeah, so that should be really fun. I'm excited about it. I don't love how Disney does this like virtual queue stuff where you have to like log into your phone at a certain time just for the chance to ride a specific ride. Uh, the one I'm most interested in is Guardians of the Galaxy, the new roller coaster, but I don't know if I'll get on it. Passion of the Christ on DVD sold for me. I'll tell you this, and I don't know if I've told you this, but riding roller coasters for me is like the ultimate stress relief. You know, a lot of people take, take drugs to relieve their stress, but not me. Me, I ride roller coasters. <laughs> roller coasters are my drugs. Uh, something about them, like after, I, after a day of riding a roller coaster, I feel like great for like a week or two weeks even. Uh, some, I don't know, I think there must be some sort of adrenaline and like mental thing that happens when you ride roller coasters that really benefits me quite a bit. ACDC Live sold on the Wii and this sold for probably not much. Uh, $6.99 plus shipping. Eh, it's better than nothing. Top shelf. Okay. I thought I'd stop naming things top shelf. You know what's funny? These boxes here that all say top shelf, they're the top shelf for my North Carolina garage. If you go back and watch one of my old North Carolina picking videos, you will see those uh, items, basically what's in there. It's like DVD players, it's all huge stuff, right? And when I came down here, I was like, I don't have a top shelf. I don't know where I'm gonna put them when I list them. So I just never took them out of the boxes. So they're all just sitting there. They're all huge items. So I know they're not gonna fit in bins. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. At some point I need to list them. All right, we're going up the stairs to my messy, messy, messy office. And we're gonna pull an order up here. I haven't listed any of the Harley shirts yet. If any of you are curious, the reason for that is just because I've been doing a bunch of other stuff. Last night, as you saw, I listed those plushes. Today I'm recording this episode and I was editing another episode. So I just got a lot going on right now. I do think I have a pretty good method for listing them. I've got an area up in my office that I'm gonna hang them on those like Christmas lights I have up there. And then I'll set up a light so I can take pictures of them up against the wall. And I think that'll go well. Anyways, I was upstairs pulling this item. This is uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Hi-Ho uh, Snow Globe. Very pretty. And we sold that for 30 bucks plus shipping. All right, so as of when I'm recording this, there's still a chance to go to the Trash to Cash meetup in Tennessee. I think we have 34 signups uh, and there is, I think, 50 total spots. So we have room for like 16 more people. Uh, if you do want to go, I'll put the link below. I didn't put it below in the last video, I realized, but I did respond to it uh, in the comments. Someone asked and I put it in the comments. Okay, so these 16 items sold for $245.51. And you know, people make fun of me because the stuff I buy, the stuff I sell, but there's something super valuable to someone with a full-time job when this is his whole pile of shipments, right? That and a snow globe, right? I have very limited time and to ship all this stuff, we're talking about poly mailers, bubble mailers, a small box, and a small box, and maybe a small box for this too. Pretty much everything else is going in poly and bubble mailers. So I basically have to box three or four items and then 12 are going in poly and bubble mailers, which packing something in a poly and a bubble mailer takes a good 10 seconds. So I can probably ship all these items in 20 minutes and that's hugely valuable to me. And that's one of the reasons sometimes I'll leave behind a VCR or something really huge because you know time is money and I am very busy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you come back next time. Make sure you subscribe. Peace out.